Hey guys, today we'll be talking about UV sterilizers, how they work, and the best way to use them successfully. Some hobbyists only start to consider the utilization of a UV sterilizer once a problem arises, such as being plagued with various issues linked to bad water quality such as algae blooms, parasites, diseases, or cloudy water. Before we go into any specific products, we should talk about UV in general. The UV light works by using ultraviolet light to damage the genetic code of invading organisms' reproductive cells so that they can no longer increase their population through reproduction. Even the tiniest microorganisms will be targeted by the UV light. Before UV sterilizers even come into play, it's best to keep a consistent maintenance schedule to keep all your water parameters in check. Don't overfeed your tank, and most importantly, quarantine or treat new fish and corals before you introduce them into your system. Now that you're following a maintenance schedule, not overfeeding your fish, quarantining and treating your new fish and corals before it goes into your aquarium, the UV sterilizer will be additional line of defense for your aquarium. Here at Salt Supply, one of the many brands of UV sterilizers we carry is the Emperor Aquatics 18 watt Smart UV Light, which is displayed here. We carry the Emperor UV line from 18 watt all the way up to the 120 watt. They can be used for freshwater and saltwater aquariums up to 400 gallons. In most cases, the bigger the UV light, the better, as the more time it takes organisms to pass through your UV, the better job the UV will do at damaging the organism's cells. So you want to pay close attention to the manufacturer's recommended flow rates for your UV sterilizer. Some of you already know the use of UV sterilizers is often debated in the aquarium hobby. The reason being is some believe that the UV will not only kill unwanted organisms, but it would also kill the beneficial bacteria in your tank along with other desired inhabitants like copepods. While this can happen, it's really unlikely as the UV sterilizers will affect the free floating bacteria in your water column. Most of your beneficial bacteria lives in the biological media, sand, and surface of your rock. Regarding copepods, in most cases, they are not in your UV sterilizer long enough or at all to be affected as they will primarily stay in your sand and live rock. If you'd like to learn more about our line of UV sterilizers or the Emperor Aquatics line of UV sterilizers, visit the link in the description below or visit SaltySupply.com.